Hey y'all, what's up? Hey, and I'm back on Better Like Never Before. And today's video is a puppy haul. So I got a new dog, and she's super stinking freaking cute. This is Toki. Say hi. <sighs> look how cute you are, Tok Tok. Look, look at the camera. My mommy is a YouTuber. <laughs> so this is my dog, Tokyo. So we're gonna get into all about Tokyo, and and I'm gonna tell y'all everything that I bought for her. If y'all want to see everything I bought for my new dog, keep on watching. <laughs> so, Tokyo is, how many weeks is she? And Tokyo is our dog. This week, Tokyo turns 16 weeks. She's getting so big on me. Um, she is a Pompu. Her dad is a Pompu. Her mom is a Pomeranian. Pompu is a toy poodle mixed with a Pomeranian. So that's what she is, except her dad is that and then her mom is a Pomeranian. Girl, she said lick licking my hands because I got on some scented lotion, but it's not food. So I'm gonna get into everything I bought for Tokyo. Well, I guess we can start with the goodies. I'm gonna show y'all all the toys that I brought her. The first thing I got is this companion dog. I got it, I mean, a companion. Is she a dog or a bunny? I think she a dog. It has a, y'all see how they're bad? It has a heartbeat and like a hand warmer pocket thingy that I can stick in a microwave so that Tokyo don't feel like she's alone. Um, I feel like it's pretty essential. I don't know how much she really cared for it, but it gives me a peace of mind knowing that she's not lonely or at least won't think that she's lonely. But I don't know like how effective it really is for her um yeah so i don't know how effective it is for her exactly because i don't notice a difference regardless she still wants to be in my arms regardless she still want to be all up under me so yeah, i think it was around 26 dollars of course i'll show you the link but yeah that's just so that she could feel the warmth and the heartbeat like when they're with their mom and then she won't feel as alone alone when i'm at work and when tristan is at school because we do work out Girl, you don't bend a sneeze on me. When, we, when I got her, it was Christmas time, so I did get a stocking. Um, I'll see if I can try to find a picture of it. I'm not really sure. It was a seasonal item. I have to get my baby girl a stocking. I'm going to have to put you down if you're going to be messing with me the whole time I talk. A few items came in that stocking. It was just a bunch of pink toys. So it was a snowman. Just some pink toys. Y'all know if I got a dog, everything she got was going to be pink. Like that's a non-negotiable. That's one of the first toy things I got her because I want her to have some toys and you know. I also got her some more toys. Um, a lot of my toys and stuff and supplies come from like Burlington. Maybe Ross, but maybe Burlington. Mo mostly Burlington. I also got her this Happy Holidays toy. This is from Burlington. It's just uh, another squeaky toy. A lot. Of, I got her a lot of toys. This is a food junkie. So this is like a bag of chips. This is $2.99. It makes squeaky noises. I haven't given her this yet because, oh, it got a squeeze this in it. Oh, look. I got her this other squeaky toy. This is this was $2.99. So this is like a little text bubble. And it just say QAF because, of course, Tokyo's cute AF like her mom. But I think that's pretty it for toys. These toys be taking up a lot of her space, so I didn't get that many because I don't want them to invade her space. As far as her necessities go, great. Okay, I'm not gonna lift it up because it's like pretty big, but it's um this gray bed. She it's the only bed she knows, so she really can't complain. <laughs> but I do, I have seen some like other beds that I might want to get. My main thing is just I really want to move from where I'm at, so I don't want to buy all of this stuff to move more. So I'm trying to wait, but. The urges for me to get everything that I want is like hard to fight. So I don't know, I might order it, but I did get her this great bed, you know, as just a starter bed because that's what she needs. And then I also got this crate. It's like a, it's not a crate, it's a play pen. I didn't really want my dog like crated up. That just seems so inhumane to me. I don't know why. I know people crate train and all this stuff, but I'm not doing that. I um really don't want her to hold her pee because it's negative blah 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 degrees outside every day like for some reason in chicago this has been like one crazy ass winter and from like so many years it hasn't been this crazy so i don't really want to take my baby dog outside in that so i'm just gonna pad train her 
as well as the fact that I do work full time so it's like unless I have somebody that's unless I have someone that's able to come walk her every day that is not really practical for me so I've just been pad training her I got it in this little area where she could just plan her playpen and walk out to her pad use the bathroom come back she got a little movement while I'm gone because it just seems so inhumane to have her in a crate I've seen pink crates they look really cute but I don't think I'm gonna do it I did see this one cage that I like absolutely love and y'all know me I'm gonna pay for what I like and I think I'm gonna pull the trigger this I seen it on TikTok and it's literally so cute to me I want her to have it I might do it if I pull the trigger I'm gonna do a review and show y'all because it's not cheap the smallest one is five hundred dollars so if I if I do get a crate it'll be that I did see one similar for cats and in the reviews, someone said they used it on a small dog. They said they recommend it for cats and small dogs. The only thing is, there's big holes on the side. But hopefully you'll be able to see. So that one is a lot less expensive. It's only $73. So I might try that. And if it just don't work, send it back. Nothing beats to try because $500 is not cheap. But it, it looked worth it. It really looked worth it. So I don't know. I might have to do that. If I do, I'll keep y'all posted. I got these pads from Burlington. Like I said, I get a lot of my puppy supplies from Burlington. And this was $9.99. As far as food, this is the food that the breeder was given Tokyo. So we just kept on going with it. It's the Nutrisource Small and Medium Breed Puppy Chicken Meal and Rice Recipe. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> I don't understand how dog food be equal in chicken and rice. That should just... <laughs> That's the for another person's brain because it don't make sense for me. But it's just really small pebbles. They like um, little brown pebbles. And then this is the shampoo that I use on her. So it has lavender chamomile in it. It's extra gentle and calming. It's by Kindful. And it's supposed to like calm her and stuff like that. Tokyo. It's supposed to calm her and stuff like that. So that's why I like to try this one. I mean she'd be pretty calm. So And it honestly it calms me when I'm washing her. So I can say that it's a really pleasant smell and I enjoy it. Let's move on to clothes because y'all know I'm excited about clothes. Like, come on, it's me. So let me show y'all all the clothes that I got for Little Miss Tokyo. So this is the clothes and I'll try to get some videos of her like with it on. But yeah, this just says Jingle and Mingle. And it's like a little tutu. It's so cute on her little butt. Like, I love it. So this is what she wore on Christmas Eve when we wore our Christmas pajamas. This is the first clothing item I got. <laughs> this just says favorite child and it's a little pink hoodie. She looks so cute in this. Like, she don't really, I don't want to say she don't like it, but this she comes out of. So either it's supposed to be a size smaller or she just don't like it. One of her arms always is like out of this. So I can never get her to keep it on for a long time. And we all got matching sweaters on Christmas, but I didn't actually wear them. We didn't go nowhere. So this is Tokyo's and I literally have the same sweater in a cardigan form. And then Tristan has this sweater in a sweater form. I bought Tokyo this pink puffer. Those three things were all from Burlington. Those first three clothing items were from Burlington. This was from Shein. This is like a little puffer coat. So, oh, sorry, boo boo. So when I walk her, oh, she's gonna look so cute in this. So when I walk her, she got a little coat. So this is an extra small pink harness. And it has strawberries on it. Super cute. So this is the pink leash. I actually brought her a hot pink um harnish but it's too small and I'm gonna have to exchange it so it's literally just plain hot pink harness it's super cute but I'll insert a screenshot I think that was about $15 I don't have that because it doesn't fit um it's in the car so I can exchange it whenever I'm passing Walmart or I find myself in Walmart but yeah that's the one I think I bought that in a small she needs an extra small so I'm gonna have to exchange that and get a smaller size but this harness is super duper cute it's pink like strawberry shortcake. Some type of bean. So this is a little hat. <laughs> that means not cute. Okay, Tokyo. Let's see. And then here's just another coat. This coat is a pink leopard print coat. 
It's more probably like a shacket. This is probably something she could wear in the spring because it's not as thick as the um, other puffer. But it just zips down the middle. But another one. Um, but Oh, maybe I did. Okay. So this is a little bit different. This, I needed this so bad. I forgot I ordered this. Okay. So this is something to where I can have her sitting on my chest. Because we out, we be out places and when I go to family members' house and they don't like my dog. And I don't want to leave my dog at home. I could just put her in this. At first, I was putting her on my chest and then, like, wrapping her up in a scarf or something. And I was looking for, like, a baby carrier, but they actually have them for puppies. So, I got this leopard print one. She's brown, so I thought it looked cute on her. This little pink thing, it's not the standard leash. It's actually the leash so that she could ride in a car seat. So, basically, this hooks to her leash, and then this pops into the seatbelt so that if she was to fall or go, like, basically, this is a doggy seatbelt. So she can't hurt herself because she'll be attached to the seatbelt for the most part, you know. So she can't go far. Or if she want to stand up, look out the window. But, you know, just like anything, this is extra security so that my little Toki don't go flying. Because she can't go flying. So this is just another pink. Obviously, we love pink for Toki. These little pink booties. Because it's snow. It's so much ice. It's just so much going on this winter in chicago that it's like y'all ain't gonna hurt my dog and i also heard i don't know how true this but salt hurts their feet or burns their feet so we got to get like the pet version of salt or pet free friendly salt so just in case i'm walking her where someone don't have that i don't want her feet to you know get messed up so these are her little snow booties <laughs> and let's see how she do i know a lot of dogs don't really like these but she gonna have to get with it if she wanna be walked outside and stuff <laughs> or walking outside that wraps wraps up everything for clothing so yeah that was the fun part <laughs> sorry but yeah if you all like this video make sure you like share subscribe i like good good and i'll definitely see you all in the next video bye say bye 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 hi <laughs> say i love my mommy it smells so good